Hello, welcome to another GridDB video. In this one, we're going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4, an Industrial Shields Arduino 21 Plus, and a one-wire DS18B20 digital temperature sensor to demonstrate how you can use a PLC with Modbus along with GridDB to implement a low-power, low-cost, edge-based, industrial Internet of Things solution. So the first thing to do for this project is to get the hardware up and running. Here is a simple block diagram showing how exactly everything's all connected. So since it's an IoT project, we're using a Raspberry Pi 4 as our edge device. And this kind of shows you the very general overview of the hardware setup. So to get our Raspberry Pi up and running, we need to do the following. We need to install Ubuntu 18.04. We need to build and install GridDB server. We need to install Node.js. And we also need to build and install the GridDB Node.js client. And then, of course, we're also going to need Node.red and the, the nodes that we need for the project. The full step-by-step -step instructions, including every single link and command, are found in the accompanying blog post, which can be found in the description down below. So to get Ubuntu 18.04 onto our Raspberry Pi, we used a program called PyImager. Uh, we just wrote the Ubuntu image onto the micro SD card. Insert, easy as that. Uh, and you're probably wondering why we opted to use Ubuntu over the, the more standard Raspbian. Uh, it's simply because it's, it's much easier to get GridDB built and running on Ubuntu rather than trying to get it working through Raspbian. And then the last thing is you might be wondering why we need to compile the Node.js client rather than go through uh, NPM, the Node Package Manager. And that's simply because that too is uh, meant for x86 architecture and obviously Raspberry Pi is an ARM. For this next portion, we're gonna actually go ahead and install Node.red itself along with the accompanying nodes. Uh, so for this portion, actually, we can simply use the Node Package Manager to install Node-RED. It greatly simplifies things. And once we do that, we're also going to need to install a simple Node-RED connector to connect to GridDB, which you can find on our GitHub page. So it's the GridDB Net GitHub page. And once again, all the links will be down in the description down below. So after we get that going, we add the GridDB client to our node path and we start Node-RED. Once you connect to your browser and get inside Node-RED, we're simply going to add the Modbus server so that the Mduino application will start properly. First, you're going to need to follow the guide on Arduino's website to install the Arduino IDE for the specific operating system you'll be developing from. After you launch the IDE, Install the Arduino Modbus and Dallas Temperature libraries into the Arduino IDE. For us, the Dallas Temperature was already included. For the Arduino setup, the required headers are included. Our Arduino's MAC and IP address are configured. We're using pin 2 to receive signal from the DS18B20, so we configure the one, liar, one wire library appropriately. Then we configure the Modbus server address, which will run on the Raspberry Pi. The actual startup routine simply starts Ethernet and serial. Last step is to actually make sure that the data is coming in and visible in the IDE. As you can see here, the numbers are a little bit outlandish. That's because of how it handles floats. Um, it doesn't, so we just have four digits there, and you need to just mentally place the decimal in the right spot. Now we will begin to set up our node red flow. Since we have already added a Modbus server node, we will just need to create two more sets of connected nodes. The first set reads from Modbus, transforms the data into the structure expected by GridDB put node, and then enters into GridDB itself. So the first step is to configure the Modbus read node to connect to the Modbus server. Um, once that's done, you can configure to read the registers we are writing the temperature value to. Um, so we transform the data so that it is suitable for the, uh, for input to the GridDB put node. The GridDB put node is configured with the container to write its schema. 
Uh, okay, and then the second set of connected nodes um, actually read from grid DB and display the values using the dashboard nodes. The latest data is fetched from the grid DB container being written to. The data output by the query node needs to be transformed to be usable by the gauge dashboard element, so the gauge node itself needs no actual configuration. So like before, the data needs to be transformed to be usable by the chart. The chart node itself needs no actual configuration either. Uh, so then when you get both sets of connected nodes deployed, you are then able to open the dashboard page and you can see the visualizations from the data collected. Uh, the address will be um, in the in the browser. It'll be your Pi's IP address with a port of 1880 slash UI. So for this last part of the video, we just wanted to show you a quick demo of the entire end product here all wrapped up in a nice little bow. So here you can see um, the Raspberry Pi is in its cocoon. We have a thermometer that we've inserted into this hot liquid that's in the thermos. Um, and then you can see that the temperature on the Node Red server is displayed in a very nice, easy to read fashion, and it is being displayed in near real time. Uh, so now that we've taken the thermometer out of the hot liquid, the temperature as expected is beginning to drop a little bit. And then just to show the opposite of that, we will stick that into the cold liquid on the right, and then as expected, the temperature will drop drastically. Alright, so that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.